Hello and welcome to Delphi's how-to video series. Today I'm going to show you how to bleed the ABS system using the Delphi DS diagnostic tool. Anytime the brake lines are opened, air will be introduced to the system. Whether it's changing components like calipers, wheel cylinders, master cylinders or ABS units, air will always be introduced. Air in the system will cause an imbalance and a spongy brake pedal, so the air must be removed. Bleeding brakes should be part of every brake job. Delphi recommends you change the brake fluid before you do any brake work. This is so that you don't push any debris through the system and cause future damage. Before starting, it's important to clean the reservoir of the brake mass cylinder. Small particles of dirt will cause damage to mass cylinders and ABS actuator modulators. Failure to keep hydraulic system completely clean will always shorten their service life. Connect the pressure bleeder to the mass cylinder reservoir after checking that it's filled with the correct brake fluid as per vehicle manufacturer's recommendations. For older vehicles, the brake bleeding procedure is normally a manual process. However, many newer vehicles have a requirement to connect a diagnostic tool and run the brake bleeding procedure electronically. This activates the valves, allowing and forcing air through the system. Now we need to just start the car and connect the DS diagnostic tool. Select the automatic bleed procedure, refer to the help file to understand the procedure and follow it carefully as this can differ from vehicle to vehicle and varies with vehicle manufacturer. The tool will then energise the cycle, the ABS solenoids and the brake pressure modulating valve. After this, the software will instruct you to bleed each corner and specify the correct order for doing this. During this step, the pump runs and the respective release valves cycle. This is repeated for each corner. The bleed nipple will have to be opened and closed in turn. Remember to collect the discharge fluid in a suitable container. Relieve pressure at the brake tool and remove it from the mass cylinder. Then check the brake pedal to make sure all the air is removed. There is no excess travel and the pedal is firm. The brake bleeding tool should keep the fluid level topped up. The brake fluid level must be checked to see if any additional top up is necessary. Remember to refill only with manufacturer's recommended brake fluid. So that's how we bleed the OBS system using the Delphi DS diagnostic equipment. For more advice, visit our website delphiautoparts.com.